This is AIR, Artists in Residence Broadcasting, coming to you once a week from New York City. Hello, I'm John Cullum, and this is Emily Franco, my wife. I am your wife. That's right. And I am the one, when we make these videos, yes. who gets to pick the topics, because these are topics for my blog, M's Talk Radio. Okay, Em, go for it. Go okay. for it. What, what, what are we going to talk about? John. Yes. I keep a candle lit in my office. Yes. Why do I keep it? Because it was once upon a time a candle that my mom kept by her bed. She kept it by her bed for many, many years after my father died. He died young. And mom would send messages to dad. She'd look at the candle and send messages. So I want to know, what sort of message would you send to your dad? Ah, uh, well, can we change the subject? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. no what I'd, would you say, hi, dad? I'd say, dad, why in the world didn't you bring me up better? I, 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 I could have been a lot better. Uh, I could have been the president of the United States if you'd given me the right incentives. What do you call your? What did you call your dad? Pop. Dad. Pop. Did you call him Pop? Pa Papa. Dad. He was very impressive. John Combs. I did meet John. I, John. I, e. V. Cullum. That's right. And he was very sharp. No, he's a smart man. He's smarter than I. Like no, no, you yes, no, 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 you're a fixer. You do wonderful tiny things. For instance, yeah. E. V. Cullum in front of me gave John advice that I heard that I wish John would pay attention to. He said, Don't play with your typewriter, don't play with details, don't be a secretary. Go for the main thing that you're working on. No. That's explain true. explain how he said that to you. Yeah, and well, he you know he was a businessman, and he he got involved in taking care because he liked to do detail work too, and he knew that he was he he had wasted a lot of time because he was a a very good businessman and gave a lot of good advice to other people which he should have taken for himself, and he didn't want me to uh, get embroiled in in the detail work. He wanted me to be a leader, and he felt that uh, that uh, it was better. To let secretaries do those kind of things. Do you still pay attention to that when you, for instance, are working on a script? Because you get awfully involved in tiny little details when you're working on it. You get involved with the formatting, first of all, of how it looks on the computer. Then you kind of play with the font. And... <laughs> hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a Uriah Heap when it comes to mucking around with the details and he, it, my dad was right and I never got over it and, uh, I, and he probably recognized it. Maybe I picked it up from him, but uh, you certainly try to get me to do things on a broader scale. Well, I pay attention to what your dad said. Now, what message would you send to your dad about you in detail? Dad, I, I'll tell you one thing. You made me a good judge of character and I picked the right woman to marry. How about that? Hey, he liked me. That's right. I never met your mom. Yeah, well. Would your mom have liked me? She would have made a point of liking you. Yes, she would. Aha, uh -huh, but note what you just said. She would have made a point. Of liking So me. your mom made up her mind about things, and that's what she did? That's right. She was she was one of the, she was a good-hearted woman, and very active. And, and and energetic and and uh, involved in everything, but you wouldn't think of her as a bright woman. She was very um, very smart, but uh, she didn't. She never tried to show that or anything. What but, message would you send to your mom? Now wait, pick up the pick up an imaginary phone. I, I, first, I'd say, Mom, I I really miss you. I missed you for a long time, and I still miss you. And I, I, I wish you were here now, and I'd love for you to know Emily and my son, John David. And uh, I'd love See, to... See, your parents missed, really missed being grandparents. That's your right. Your father knew, met John David. Yeah. But your mother died in an accident, a car accident. Yeah. When I first came to New York, I was only here for six weeks. And then I went back there. 
So, I, almost, I almost didn't become an actor after that. So the messages that you would send to your parents have to do with things that they wanted you to be. Yeah. And you're still trying to be. I suppose so. Are you still so. trying to be? I, I, yeah, and I think that the, the things that they, because they, they basically had uh, very, they were very moral uh, and probably over-religious as far as I was concerned. But uh, uh, I, 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 I love the things, I'd like to be like them more. So the main message is, I'd like to be what you want me to be more. Yeah. And you send your message, of course, saying, I love you. Yes. I do. Thanks, John. Okay, Em. And thank you for bringing that up, because I would never have said that unless you made me say it. And I'm okay. Right. All right. We'll see you next week, okay? This is AIR. See you next week.